they were just playing the um the hunger games theme song if you guys can hear it Yeah, like whistling so anyway um, I don't know uh, they basically uh, prevented me from shutting down my computer uh, I cannot <laughs> shut down my computer at all um, I had just gotten off the phone with Pam not just but about maybe half an hour ago and um, they started with the sirens, right? And then now they're uh, doing the Hunger Games song, and um, I can't even shut down my computer now. So I have to uh, do it manually. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, I guess they really don't want me talking to Pam. <laughs> okay, uh, it's again causing trying to cause a rift between me and her, and um, then my nephew's son. Uh, every time I walk into the kitchen, he's <laughs> so I started doing the same thing back. And um, about a few minutes later, they started with the police siren, and so I still continue to do it. He was doing hand signals. I walked the last time I walked into the kitchen. Uh, he is um, putting his hand. He actually put his his thumb uh, like this on his head, okay, and uh, was looking down at my crotch. And so I started doing the sniffling, right? <laughs> and then he stops. But I got a few videos which I'm going to upload of him uh, doing. You'll see him doing these hand signals. And one of the things that they have been uh, sending me subliminal message about is um, just like how you have a caste system in India, you have a caste system here in America. So I guess basically we as TIs, we at the bottom of the caste system, right? Meaning that we are the so-called untouchables. And this is the type of uh, thing that they do in terms of ruining your career, ruining your name, spreading uh, negative propaganda, getting the community involved in targeting you. Um, you know, uh, blacklisting you, I should say whitelisting, right? So whitelisting me and others into not being able to find employment and stuff like that uh, to the point where um, because of the damage that they've done to us using these technologies and using psychological warfare, uh, our only uh, source of income has now become disability. And then they try to take that away from us because now they, they can try to use that as a tool as a method to um, try to uh, you know like a reward and punishment that if you don't do what they say if you don't uh, follow their instructions then they will take away these things and they'll take away your only source of financial uh, assistance right so this is how this game is played and it's I, I call it a game because that's what many people believe that it is they've turned it into a game but it's actually it's a program to experiment and to ruin people's lives and to destroy uh, their lives and ruin the relationship that they have with uh, people around them family uh, friends um, you know uh, intimate partners marriages what have you and so again this is this is nothing new you know this is nothing new and trying to silence me is just not going to work so you know this is what i have to deal with you know and i've been dealing with it for a very very long time because i refuse to be silent i refuse to shut up uh despite of whatever it is that they're saying but like i said e even yesterday you guys see the videos that walked on my block the police and coming back all this police uh activity going on sirens and all that stuff only when i stepped outside of my apartment building Okay, and what's going to the groceries? They'll do stuff like this from time to time. And I've had so many videos to show exactly what it is that they're doing. So, um, you know, uh, what can I say? Right? And it's, just, it's, a, it's a shame when you have, uh, who's this? Somebody walking across uh, the window, walking back and forth out there. Um,
yeah so as i said um you know uh and i know just something i have to go forward you know this is going to happen for the rest of my life because again i refuse to uh be uh, manipulated controlled by these individuals and continue to be experimented on for whatever the reason okay like, like i said there's no one coming up my door knocking on my door say you know there's a war in europe this and that no one has done that it's been like 20 years okay and i was probably in this program longer than that right because like i said i have a twin brother who in the mid 90s he became a, a target so you know and many in the christian faith and the, i should say the religious faiths and religious institutions they're a part of this they are a part of this that they have been uh, uh those in the institutions have been selling lies for profit and to control people and and the believers are being brainwashed and manipulated it's as simple as that but they don't want to hear it they don't want to believe it and so it's what it is right and you can see how religion has drive a wedge between families and family members because they have my family participated in targeting me okay and you know if i confront them they'll, they'll be like oh you're crazy it's all in your mind and this and that so you know what i just do the same thing to them psychologically because it's psychological warfare with them so i do the same thing back you know and i could i could tell how the younger generation particularly within my family they have no common sense they're they're nasty they're they're you know they wouldn't even wash dishes they will pile the sink up the dishes whenever they come over and leave it like that they will take uh you know they will take a, a, sh a, a shit in the toilet and don't flush it okay this is the shit that i have to deal with okay because they're 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 basically brain dead because of their religious belief and those and they're so heavily into that shit they're fanatics and they don't even think of themselves as being fanatics, okay? They'll leave shit all over the floor, right? Won't even pick it up. And they do that purposely. You know, whether it be in the kitchen or in the bathroom, because they know I'm going in the bathroom, this, that's what they do, all right? This is, this is what they do. So, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's got to continue to to expose what's being done and push on through and hopefully um you know this will be exposed to where it doesn't happen to anybody again okay